Well, selling your home can be an incredibly daunting process. For most people, it's their biggest asset. And of course, you want top dollar. Andrew, it starts with finding the right real estate agent. Well, finding the right real estate agent is absolutely vital. I think people underestimate how much you're going to be actually working or should be working together as a team. Mm. Quite often people say, oh, my agent's not done this. Or I'm not happy. They say, well, why don't you tell them? Because you're supposed to work as a team. So yeah, finding a, a good real estate agent is vital. There are other options, of course, now. Um, you can go it alone. You can use online services. Um, the reality of that is, don't forget, you have got to be a really strong and confident negotiator yourself. And some buyers can be put off by the face-to-face -face element of that. Mm. And really astute buyers will know you're saving thousands. And guess what they'll do? They'll adapt their offer accordingly. So, you, you know, you've got a, a lot of things to think about if you're not going to use an agent. The biggest issue we have, unfortunately, is the fact that we are in a predominantly acreage market out here, mm -hmm. and we have a block of 700 square metres. Mm. Is there ever a right or a wrong time to sell? Um, yes, there's a wrong time to sell. The wrong time to sell is when um, your, let's say, um, your house is a particular type of home in a particular type of suburb, and there's lots of homes like yours for sale. Mm. When there's that much supply, even when there's quite good demand, it will mean it will affect on the prices negatively and on demand. So you've got to try and find a time to sell. It's irrelevant of the season. Um, it's relevant to your personal needs and to when you can spot a time in the market when there's all the houses like yours have sold and there's only one or two of them left. Mm. That is the absolute optimum time to, to sell. I don't like the bins and I don't like that green wall, but I love this type of house. If your property goes stale, it's on the market for a couple of months and there yeah. haven't been many bites, what do you do first? Okay, first of all, you need to know if your property has really gone stale on the market. So, um, there's something called the typical days on the market for your area. So, a house might typically in this suburb, say, um, sell within 85 days. Now, if your house has been on the market for two months and you know 85 days is the typical days on the market, mm. you shouldn't be worrying too much. Um, you get to 120 days, then you should be worrying. But obviously in some in the, the quieter regional areas, coastal districts, um, country towns, that sort of thing, where things are slower. People, I, I'll get an email saying, oh, I've been trying to sell for six months, I'll look at their area, and typically the days on the market is 350 days. Um, there are suburbs where houses are on the market for thousands of days. It really does happen. Um, so be very conscious of, of whether your perception of it being stale in the market is true or not. Um, if it is going stale on the market, I personally am a great fan of if you are able to actually take it off the market, yeah. give, it a, give it a marketing break and then start afresh. New price, new campaign, um, maybe even new agent, new photographs, start all again. Is there some updates perhaps then you should do to your home? Yeah, if you've had feedback about particular negative things that, that would be relatively inexpensive to address, then, then yes, quite possibly. Um, but I think it's a case also you can address the price expectations. Um, and look, true, there are lots of good real estate agents out there. There are also some weak ones, like any profession. You may have found the one that you can't work with most successfully. Take that marketing break and then use another agent. Not forgetting that because of the wonderful world of internet now, the second, the very day you list your property for sale, it's logged. So if you think your house has been on the market for six months, and um, oh well, we'll give it a fresh age, it'll be like a new start. For anybody doing their research, they'll know you've already been on the market for six months. So I always say to people now, if you're going to put your house on the market, be serious about selling it because in fact you're going to dilute its desirability. Because if you ask too much or you're a bit relaxed about selling it and you have it on the market for months and months and months, when you actually do get serious about it, suddenly it's a stale property. Oh Lord, look at that ceiling. I think the blue is designed to uh, cover a magnitude of sins. Uh, it doesn't really do it very well, does it? For a home like this one behind us, which quite frankly Beautiful could do with... green and white little diamond, yes. Yes, it could perhaps do with a little bit of work. Yeah. Should you sell it as it is or should you update it? Uh, depends who you are. If you are the uh, perhaps elderly owners of a property and you don't really know where to start, you haven't got the resources, you haven't got the time, um, no, don't do it. The, the, the trouble with something, um, a property that you're going to be renovating to sell, is 
you've got to make sure you know what you're doing because the risk there is overcapitalizing. The two most desirable properties on the market are the ones possibly like this that needs quite a bit of work and will be below median house price for similar type property. They're always very saleable. The other type would be a house like this, fully renovated, absolutely dressed to sell. Yes, it's top dollar, but somebody won't mind paying. That house and the Renault at the bottom, they're the most saleable. Majority of housing stock, which is in the middle, is the hardest stuff to shift. So you've got to be very careful in the short term to try and do a renovation and expect to get your money back. We've got a great property here for you today, buyers. Now, Matraville, of course, excellent area. We're seeing a lot of people now going to auction. When is it right to put your property up for auction and when should you just leave it on the market? Um, auction is a very popular sale method here, but you only would use that sale method if it was popular and successful in your area. Um, to me, the only other time you would use it categorically without question would be when there's a number of you in the ownership of the property. Matrimonial settlements, um, deceased estates, foreclosures are popular ones. Ones or where there's a few of you that own it and you all want to make sure everything's nice and open mm. with the negotiations. Therefore, by doing it by, by public auction, you can have no arguments. Other than that, I would only do it when it is popular within your marketplace. Um, a lot of people believe it is the be-all and end-all of getting the top dollar. Um, I think it is sometimes, but I don't think it is all the time. I'm a big tender fan myself. And finally, what's your top tip for interiors addict readers when selling your home? When selling your home, my absolute top tip is to think of the property overall. Don't just focus on the kitchen and bathroom, you're selling the property. That's fences, gardens, garages, master bedrooms, kitchens, bathrooms, the lot.